Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my What I Got For Christmas 2021. This is like, this is going up on the 31st, so um, I'm a bit later this year, but I'm not later than I was last year, because I think last year I was on like the 6th of Jan or something. Literally just the reason it's a bit later, because I did 24 videos in December, like from the 1st to the 24th. It wasn't Vlogmas, but it was just a sit down video, like a full on like, what in old school YouTube would be called like a main channel video every single day. It was quite tiring, obviously having Christmas and everything, so I just wanted to chill this week and so I decided to do it today because I still wanted to get it up in December. So before we get into the video, please sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me and let's get on with the video. This first thing I got, I'm almost certain was from my nan. I got, I don't know if it's pyjamas or loungewear, but I kind of see it as loungewear because I would never wear this as pyjamas because I overheat like crazy. So it's definitely not getting worn as pyjamas. So it's a little two piece. It's from Primark. It's just like this. It's a little crop top and it's got long sleeves and the bottom half like this. And it has like the elastic around the waist and it just has cuffs. So for sizing, um, my mum obviously chose the sizing. She got the bottoms in a small, which is a 10 to 12 in Primark. And she got the top in a medium, which is a 12 to 14, which was I'm actually so happy in hindsight that she did that because I've tried this on, this whole set. I would say this is a, if you're like, just, I just want to be helpful here. If you are looking, to, if you do see this and want to get it. I would say it is a 12 to 14. Like my mum would fit into it because she's a 12 to 14. But it would be more fitted and it would be more cropped. Issue I had, and this is because they're a 10 to 12, is the waist. And I sat down in them and the back of them just slid down. Like my underwear was like completely showing. So my nan has actually tucked them on both sides. Um, it looks like she's done, maybe if you added it both together, about an inch, an inch and a half. And then the next thing my nan got me, I think we'll stick with my nan because I think I know everything she got me. She got me this dressing gown, which this, so the purple thing I didn't, I hadn't asked for. So that was like a nice surprise present. Um, and then this dressing gown I did ask for. So I can tell you where everything's from because I know where everything's from. This is from Next. <laughs> I got it in a medium um, and it's like regular. So I, I wasn't aware of about this dressing gown. Is there more like three quarter length sleeves? In some scenarios they feel like normal length, but in others they like are three quarters. That's actually really handy for a dressing gown because they, you know sometimes if you're like washing your hands or like you're doing something, the sleeves always just get in everything. So, and just look at the hood on this. Like how nice, it's the softest thing ever. I just, I, I love the colour as well, it's like my favourite colour. Um, so I was, I knew, I mean I'm not gonna lie, I knew I was getting it. If there was one thing I guarantee knew I was getting for Christmas, it was the dressing gown. And that was simply only because of one thing. I knew my nan was getting my auntie dressing gown. And I was getting my nan a dressing gown. And Kev got my mum a dressing gown. And I just feel like when someone has a dressing gown on their list, they always get it. And it's so nice. The next thing my nan got me and is these earrings. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, I need to see these in natural daylight tomorrow. I asked for some earrings and they were from, I believe, misguided. And they were like gold hoops that were like had diamantes on them. I opened this box, this was the first person I opened and I saw them and like, <laughs> I loved the earrings, but they looked rose gold. And I was like, I haven't worn rose gold in like six years. And I was like, you know when like, you want to love something. And the minute I saw the earrings, I just was like, I, if these were just in gold, I would have loved them and I would wear them all the time, but I'm never ever gonna wear them if they're rose gold. I think I need some help because I need confirmation that these are gold because I haven't looked at them since Christmas day and I've just looked at them and I'm, they look gold. Are they gold? They're gold, aren't they? They are gold. Or are they rose gold? I really can't tell. Interesting, okay, that makes me way happy about that present. <laughs> And then the last thing my nan got me was two books, which was funny because I actually got her two books. Um, she got me The X Hex by Erin Sterling. And she got me November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Um, these, by the way, just would have both been from Amazon because that's what I linked it from. 
Um, so I added six books to my list because I told my mum I will ask for books for Christmas. Um, and that was the only thing that I hadn't put on my list yet because I didn't know what ones I would have read by that point. So yeah, my name got me these two books, which I am very happy about because I think I put Get a Life Chloe Brown, I put Credence, Punk 57, I think another Colleen Hoover. So I think, yeah, my top three would have been these two and Credence would have been my top three choices. So I'm really happy I got both of these. I have actually created a book channel. Haven't posted anything on it yet. I've literally just created the channel name. I've just called it Abby Forrester Reads for the moment. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. And I just thought it'd be quite a fun, like, chill channel to do. So we'll do my mum next, but just to explain, Kev does his own presents, but then my mum buys presents for me, but she says from mum and Kev. So <laughs> technically my mum's presents, she bought them, but they're from both of them. But then Kev does his own. So it's like a, if that makes any sense. So first I've got these little slippers, which I'm assuming are from Primark. <laughs> they are. They're just little Minnie Mouse ones. I actually have Minnie Mouse Christmas like boot slippers, which if you go and watch my Primark haul, you'll see them. I feel like I actually have reindeer ones like this from the other year. These sort of things are really, really handy to have just for like when your feet get cold, especially because if I'm sitting at my desk, if the radiator is not on or even if it is, my feet can sometimes get really cold because of the window. So these are really super handy. Mum got me some bras from Primark. They are in the wrong size. <laughs> the she got the band size i'm a 32c but she got a 34c and obviously if anyone doesn't know <laughs> when you size up in the band size even if it's the same cup size the cup will be slightly bigger but at first i was like mom she's like i've been the same size for like six years so i was like how did you get that wrong because <laughs> she buys me bras all the time but i actually looking at them and in hindsight i said to her i was like actually it might be handy to have a slightly bigger cup size. Next up, we have some lint chocolate, which I really appreciate these because, don't come for me, I don't really like lint chocolate. I used to, but I've gone off of it. Um, but stuff like this, like little ones, I really like. I'm just not a fan of like lint bunnies or the giant lint Santas. So I like ones like this, so this is great. Next up for my mum, I got the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Again, this was on my list. <laughs> I wanted the D Slick, but this is actually the one I put on my list because apparently it's not a thing anymore. I used to always get D Slick, it was like my go-to present. And yeah, it's not a thing because I have oily skin, so I've always got D Slick because it's like oil control. But yeah, it's, it's nowhere. I can't find it anywhere. So, and the other year, I did actually get this one because I accidentally asked for this one rather than D Slick. So I just thought I'm just going to ask for this one again because I like a setting spray and I feel like this is probably the most holy grail setting spray I would say that most people use and I have had it before. I'm so bad with setting sprays. When one's coming to an end, like I don't buy one for when that one finishes. It just ends and I've got, I haven't got a setting spray. So that revolution one is going to be stuck as my backup because... I always do that. The one bit of makeup I did get from my mum is something I asked for and I said to her afterwards, I was like, because I think I put four or five makeup items on my list. And I said to her afterwards, I was like, the one item that she got me was the one item, was the only makeup item I had forgotten about that I'd put on my list. It was probably the one I wanted the most. <laughs> and so she got me the Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss, no gloss bomb. There you go, that's kind of, I mean, I can, I'm sure as I can take it out to show you the colour. It's beautiful. I'm so happy that she got me this. Like, how pretty is that colour? I can't get over it. I haven't got it on my lips right now. It is just beautiful. I've, like, really got back into my matte lips, just because of how long they last. But I also love, like, look how much better my lips look with the gloss, because they're glossy. So I feel like I need to go back into my matte with a gloss on top. I just love it. Next thing I got, there's two clothing items and then one other thing for my mum and then we go on to Kev's presents and Michael's presents. So, this is, I need to try this on still because potentially I might need to get a bigger size, but I should be fine because I asked for it in a bigger size anyway. I asked for a leather blazer because I just feel like they're quite a good like winter staple in autumn and even into the start of spring. This is just from PLT and I asked for it in a 12 because I just figured that made the most sense because you could put jumpers under it. 
So this is the Black Longline Lapel Detail Faux Leather Blazer. It, I think we're going to be fine with the sides, but I'm obviously going to try it on. It just looks like this. It's kind of like a longer one. I basically just looked for the most basic looking leather blazer that wasn't too fancy, didn't have much to it. And this one was that, so I just thought, let's give it a go. I mean, it looks more shiny on camera than it does in person. In person, it just looks like a normal leather, but in, on camera, it looks super, super shiny. Then next up from my mum, also from PLT, is some boots. But she got me these leather ones, and they've got a heel. These are from PLT. Um... And they have the lace up at the back, which I love the lace up because it, you can really, really tighten it. These don't look that like thigh high. I think they potentially are just like just about over the knee. Um, I haven't tried them on yet, but I just wanted some like heeled boots. I really want to start making more of an effort with my fashion. And I think I said that a year ago. I think these are so nice. And I don't have. A lot of my ankle boots with heels are from like 2018, 2019 me, and I'm a different person now. I don't like them, I need to get rid of them. And I don't have a, like a high pair of boots, like a high, um, like a knee high, thigh high. I don't even have any knee high boots actually, I just have thigh high ones. And especially not with heels, so I'm very, very happy about that. And the last thing my mum got me is actually something that has never been in a, what I got for, because I've had this present before for my 19th birthday and I think my 18th and my 19th were the only birthdays I didn't film because I had stopped my YouTube at that point and I think 2018 was the only Christmas I didn't film. And this is the Pure, Paco Rabanne Pure XS, Pure XS perfume. I got this for my 19th birthday for my nan. I'm, I'm, I am certain they've changed the packaging because it used to be like a velvet and I'm assuming just because of like eco-ness they probably put it to this. I love this perfume. It won't tell me on here, but if I remember, it has marshmallow. Is it marshmallow? It definitely has popcorn as one of the like notes. So I'm someone that like, I think I said this in my birthday haul, I was like, I love perfume and I'm happy to buy myself perfume when it's one I've not tried before, but I hate rebuying perfume because it's so expensive. Like I'll happily spend like 200 pound on like five bottles of new perfumes, but I won't spend 50 on a perfume I've had before. I just, it just hurts my heart a little bit. So I would rather get perfumes that I've already had that I love because I know I won't buy them for myself. Like this ran out like a year ago and I haven't, I think I've still, yeah I do, I can see it. I've still got the empty bottle for this because I can't bring myself to throw it away because it's really pretty and I can't bring myself to buy a new one. So I put it on my Christmas list. This is the bottle. This is the 50 mil? Yes. We normally, whenever I get um, Paco Ban, I normally always just get the 50 mils because they last a really long time. So it looks like this and it has a snake around it and it just, I've used it on Christmas. Oh, it's definitely, I think more of like a summer scent. I might save it for a bit and save it till we start getting into more spring because it's very sweet. If you don't like sweet, do not buy this perfume. So now we're on, we'll do Michael's present because I'm so happy. We did our presents on the 19th, yes. I've never been so shocked I don't think opening a present, ever. Like I said, I normally do lists. So I don't often get shocked by a present because we normally do lists. This present, because he doesn't ever get me anything for my list. This year I actually showed him my list so that he knew what was on it so he didn't get any of those things. What Michael got me is something I have been going on about for at least a year. It's got to be at least a year. What Michael got me is a Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer. And this is, if I show you them on the side, he got me this one. He got me the charcoal one. Um, and it comes with two ceramic mugs, cups, rather. I put a bit little picture on the screen of what the, well, they look like that. Um, they always put the, so it looks like this, it's this colour. It's that grey colour. Beautiful. I said to him, I was like, you couldn't have picked a better colour, because white will get dirty. Copper, I just wouldn't think mum would want in the kitchen. And also, when I move out, I don't know what colour my kitchen will be because I don't know yet, I haven't moved out. <laughs> my kitchen could be white, it could be black, it could be grey, it could be brown, like, I don't know. And also I don't know what my metal theme is gonna be, or my, what my kettle, or my microwave, or my 
toaster colour is going to be. So copper is a bit of a dangerous one to go for because you don't know if it's going to match. Charcoal, the grey, is very sophisticated, it's very beautiful, it's so nice. <laughs> no way. I opened it and it was it. And then I got it out, I literally, I'm not normally one, as you probably know if you ever watch these videos, I don't open things, I don't use things before I film the video. I got this out, I never do that with presents, I got it out straight away. I ran into mum and Kev and was like, look what Michael got, what Michael got me, he got me a velvetizer, I got a velvetizer. I was jumping up and down like a little kid, I was so excited. It comes with the 10 selection thing, so thank you Michael, much appreciated. God, it's so bloody beautiful. First thing I opened from Kev was this, which is partially eaten. Um, is these, some pick a mix, I don't know what the brand is. I actually recognised it because in Dead Sweet they had like some festive, they had like three Christmas mixes. And I recognised the snowflakes and I think the little candy canes. So I have already eaten some, I literally opened them in a minute because we did these one, the Kev's we do on Boxing Day, so this was at like 11am. Yeah, I've already eaten some, but yeah, I got sweets. The second to last thing I got was from Kev as well. I don't know if there's like a brand but it says lights 3d lamp light up happiness opened it if you're a tiktok person the first thing i thought of when i saw this was one of those sunset lamps i had but then i was like but the size seems wrong like i was so confused even when i opened it i was like what is this he said he saw it online and i've not seen these and it's really cool it's basically it goes into this this is like the holder and it's a horsey and this basically, this is the lamp, this is the bit that lights up. Which I just, I'm assuming all the white lines is what lights up. And I just thought, I don't know if there's like a right way. How cute is that? So that basically goes in, it's super thin. And apparently he said it lights up a lot of light. So it's going to go on my shoe cabinet on top of my like um, Chanel and Gucci book. I can't actually set it up yet because um, I've still got all my Christmas decorations up. Um, I'm hoping like... I love my Christmas decorations, but for some reason this year I want them down. I'm happy for the tree to stay up, I love the tree. But the surface decorations, I just, because there's a lot of furniture in my room, they do make the room feel very cluttered. So I'm like, I'm ready for them to be gone now so I can re-put my room back to like the cleanliness of it. I'm quite looking forward to putting this up. The last thing I got, which I have to tell you it because I don't I currently have it, is I purposely showed him my list so that he wouldn't get me anything on it so there was no duplication because he didn't want to he said to me he was like let me know if there's anything big on your list because i want to like i don't want to get the same thing and i was like okay fine but then i showed him it and i didn't add anything big so i was like no there's nothing else i completely forgot that kev never gets me stuff on my list he just remembers from things i've said when i went in with the velvetizer from michael mum, my mum was actually in the toilet and then a few days later or like the same day or whatever, I went into her, I was like, you didn't get me this, did you? You didn't get me a velvetizer? And she was like, no. I was like, you sure you didn't? You're not just saying that. And she was like, no, I didn't. The only reason why I questioned it is because I have gone on about this so, so much the last few months that I thought there's a chance she might have got it. We get to Boxing Day and I'm opening Kev's present and I've been joking, thinking like, oh, I really hope it's Lego because I really want a Lego set. But I also would rather than something else than a Lego set at the same time. Like, I wish Lego could just send me a lego set i don't want to have to have someone buy it <laughs> and so i was opening this big box because he pretended it was my mom's and he was like oh it's, your, it's yours and i was like oh because there was no label on it i thought it was lego <laughs> so and my mom was filming me so then i was like why is she filming me and i was like well it's got to be lego because why would she be filming me because i've been going on about lego like joking about it and i open it and it's just like a brown box and i was like okay there's no shaking happening so it can't be lego and then as i've opened it inside the box is Hotel Chocolat and I was like it didn't click until I looked at my mum and she started laughing it's a velvetizer <laughs> so basically Kev had got me a velvetizer also and he had actually spoken to Michael on Christmas Eve and told him and Michael found it hilarious but it worked out for the best because Kev actually got me the, the set that had two of the selection boxes in and he emailed Hotel Chocolat like we need, to, we need to send it back blah blah and they were like, yep, that's fine, just send back the machine, but you can keep all the chocolate. So I got two free boxes of, not free, you know what I mean, like I got two boxes of chocolate. So it worked out amazing because I've got two extra boxes of chocolate to have now. Then Kev was like, okay, well, you need to choose something to replace it. 
which I didn't even realise he was going to say anyway. One thing that wasn't on the list that I've always wanted for years, and for, since 2019. If you know already, you might know. An Udi. I have wanted one of these for years. I, oh, I actually wanted, this has all worked out so well, I actually wanted the light pink one. Um, but it was out of stock when I told Kev that I wanted an Udi instead, like, to replace the Velvetizer. And I saw the dark grey and I was like, actually, the dark grey kind of looks a bit more, like, expensive. Like, it looks a bit more higher quality. And also it's dark, so it's like, it won't get dirty as quickly because there's, like, if I spill anything on it, it's not going to get dirty as quickly. Like, it's, it's a bit more a safer bet. This is what I got from Kev. Honestly, the Velvetizer and the Udi is all I've been going on about for years. So I'm so happy I got both. That is, like, my favourite thing. This flat does get quite hot though, so once I, once the heating goes on, I've got to take it off. <laughs> when the heating's not on, it's perfectly fine. But also it's really hot at the moment. It was like 14 today. I'm so happy it's the comfiest thing. Also, I'm only 5'3", so it literally goes down to like the middle of my calf. But I absolutely love it. It's just like, you can see how cosy that is. Like, look at that. And it's not until like, you actually get it all out, where you're like, wow, I got a lot. Like, because it's been in the bag, because I've been waiting to film this video, and it's not until you get it out, you're like, oh, wow, I really did well. <laughs> like, I got a lot of presents. So, that's everything I got for Christmas. If you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know any days you have down below. Starting from next week, this week, obviously, was only one video, and that is because I did 24 in December. Um, but starting from January, it should be three videos a week. I think I'm going to change it up and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let me know any sort of, like lifestyle ideas you have not hauls because they'll just happen as they happen makeup i have a lot of makeup things i need to do but any like lifestyle content do you want to see a car tour because i got a car in july but i've never shown it do you want to see a car tour maybe some drive with me's let me know what you want to see because i'd like some lifestyle ideas um so yeah i will see you in my next video bye